Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Danilo Romolini and many of you guys follow our channel for the beautiful homes we tour every week. This video is going to be a little bit different. In fact, I wanted to explain to you what actually purchasing a home in Italy is like, what the purchase process works like, and answer some of the most common questions you have. In the end, you may realize that buying your dream home in Italy is actually much simpler than it seems. So let's begin. The first question that I get often asked is whether Americans can purchase in Italy. The answer is yes. In fact, the procedure for the purchase process is the exact same as it is for Italians. The only preliminary step that is required is to obtain what we call the Codice Fiscale, so a fiscal code, which is pretty much more or less the same equivalent as the social security number in the US. As an agency, we assist our clients in obtaining the Codice Fiscale. Let's now begin by talking about the actual purchase process of a home in Italy. So after a client has visited several homes and he has found one he is in love with and he would like to submit an offer, our agency is happy to help him and represent him on the negotiations. Usually just a verbal offer is enough. As an agency, we meet with the seller discuss with them the offer and update you when we have news. Sometimes instead, a written formal offer of purchase is exchanged and if the seller accepts it at that price, he undertakes that the property cannot be sold to anybody else for a certain given amount of time. Before going ahead, our agency investigates the title of the property at the Urban and Land Property Registry Office, which in Italian is called Catasto. The property title is checked along with any existing loan on the property, and then a meeting with the notary will confirm that everything is 100% regular. The next step is the preliminary agreement of sale. As it is not possible to keep a property off the market for too long, the preliminary agreement of sale needs to be signed as soon as possible once an offer is accepted. The preliminary agreement of sale is a private agreement between the two parties where a price is agreed upon and the vendor undertakes to sell the property within a given date to the buyer who undertakes to purchase it. There is a detailed description of the property including the catastral details. Upon the signing of the preliminary agreement of sale, the buyer undertakes to pay a deposit generally between 20 to 30% of the agreed price. Once this deposit is paid, then if the vendor backs out, he will have to pay twice of the deposit paid and if the buyer backs out he will lose his deposit. This important clause is included in the article of the Italian Civic Code called Caparra Confirmatoria. Finally we have the final purchasing deed. So when both the buyer and the vendor are ready we can fix a date for the final purchasing deed. Generally it takes place between one to six months upon the signing of the preliminary agreement. In Italian it is called the Atto di Compravendita, which is a public contract and is read in total by the notary at the deed. In the end, the vendor and the buyer proceed signing it in front of the notary, who in the end signs it as well together with his stamp. At the moment of the deed, the purchaser takes full title and possession of the property and then the remainder of the price is paid by bank transfers. Now that we've completed the purchase process, let's talk about another important topic, which is taxation. If the buyer purchases as a private individual, the property purchase tax is not calculated on the price, but on the property registry value which is a value attributed to the property by the tax office. There is no connection between the tax registry value and the price, 
the good thing is that the registry value is generally far lower than the price. Let's now talk about property purchase taxes when the client is resident or non-resident. I would like to clarify that property purchase taxes do not change whether the buyer is Italian or foreigner. They do change in the instances of the client wanting to turn this property into his primary residence. In this case, he will have to spend and live in Italy six months plus one day each year. Or if he's purchasing this home as a second home or holiday home. In case of residency, simply by declaring to the notary that the client would like to take the residency on this home within 18 months, the tax will be 2% on the tax registry value. If not applying for residency, the property purchase tax will be 9% of the registry value. These taxes will be have to be paid at the notary on the day of the deed. In the case of purchasing from a developer, the property tax to be paid at the purchase is generally VAT and it will need to be paid on the property agreed price and not on the property registry value. Let's now talk about the legal figures involved in the transaction. In Italy, for sure, the most important is the notary, in Italian, notaio, whose presence will be necessary for the transaction and he will be at the deed and you will sign in front of him with a public deed, so the closing. The deed, once signed, is registered at the tax office for tax reasons and then transcribed at the public registry of deeds and then it becomes public. Another important legal figure is the lawyer or attorney. The Italian real estate system does not require the parties to appoint a lawyer or an attorney to represent each of them. The transaction is generally handled by us as a company and the notary. I must say, however, that most of our international clients appoint an, an English-speaking and Italian-speaking lawyer to assist throughout the transaction. We work with the best international law firms and, of course, we can recommend. In terms of legal fees, if appointing an attorney, each side, the buyer and the seller, will respectively be responsible of paying his professional. The notary will need to be paid by the buyer. Another interesting topic to discuss is the power of attorney. Should the seller or buyer not be able to attend the final deed, we can arrange a power of attorney which needs to be signed in front of a notary in the country of residence. With this official document, the client will choose to be represented by an Italian-speaking proxy who can attend the deed on his or her behalf. The power of attorney will need to be both in Italian and in the native language of the client. The notary will be attending the signature in order to authenticate it and witness it. The wet ink signed document will be couriered to Italy so that the deed can take place with the proxy. And the last and very important topic is the mortgage. It is absolutely possible to obtain a mortgage even as a foreigner in Italy. We are in touch with excellent mortgage brokers who can assist in the process. The procedure for the Italian mortgage starts with a first contact with the bank and kind of a pre-approval based on the client's annual income. After about 10 weeks, the bank sends to the property a surveyor who will survey the property and assess whether the amount requested and the purchase price is compliant with the, the property actual value. If so, after about two weeks, the mortgage is then finally approved and the final deed will take place on the same date and time as the mortgage deed. We have now reached the end of today's property tour. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I cleared some of the questions you may have had. 
the purchase process is actually quite simple and we are here to assist if you have any other question. Please have a look at all of my other videos for some beautiful pieces of real estate and feel free to contact us if you need us. Until next time, ciao!